There are several aspects about the Red River around Fargo that make it very prone to flooding. First, the river actually flows north, which in this case is that way. So it's flowing into colder areas, sometimes still frozen areas, and that can make the river flood. But here's the thing on a good spring. It doesn't really matter. Everything melts nice and orderly and the river can still whisk it all away towards the north and we have a regular old spring. Unfortunately, that's not always the case. You know what? Let's rewind the clock. Let's go back to a bad scenario. Let's go back into a snowy scenario that just does not want to end. And that's a year like this one. We've got February going on, March, April, still snowing. And that snow is locking up precipitation. It's frozen, but it will eventually melt. So here's what happens from April into May. Everything happens at once. You melt the snow, you get the spring rains, the warm temperatures. The river just can't take it all towards the north. And so instead, it piles over the banks. And that's how you get a major flood around Fargo.